What's up? Wow, your uh, your rooms are really orange. You guys selling on Amazon? Yeah, it is. We uh, we do sell on Amazon, and uh, we're also a wholesale distributor for other Amazon sellers. So our website's lvdistribution.com if you wanted to check it out. But while you're here, do you want to check out the place? Yeah, definitely. Cool. Come on in. So when you walk in, this is our main office here. Uh, there's really two of us that are here on a daily, weekly basis. That right there is my desk. We've got the curved monitor and some other stuff for just doing Zoom calls. Uh, we do those every once in a while. We've got the Monopoly themed artwork all throughout. The whiteboard here on the wall for collaboration. This is Chance's desk. He also does product research for us. And when we look over here, this is just to avoid having a big empty wall. So we've got a lot of books. This is our collection of books that I've personally read. So every time I finish a book, I take it from my home office, I bring it here, and we just are kind of starting to grow a collection here. Um, that is a new chair we got. Uh, I failed big time at trying to flip some brand new Target furniture. So you'll see back there that we've got a lot of Target furniture. But in the meantime, we've got a chair in that corner. Um, this is our feature wall here in the office. It's almost complete. Uh, really the last thing that we're gonna do is put a bright neon sign. It's gonna say Leicester Ventures, uh, cause that is the name of the company here. Uh, or of course, LV Distribution. And uh, yeah, let us know what you think. Originally, we were gonna go from floor all the way to the ceiling with the pallet greenery. But when we got into installing it, it just seems like way too much work to cut a pallet in half and fill the gap. And we thought it looked acceptable. So uh, we went with it how it was, but that's really it for the main office. This is where the deals go down, the inventory gets sourced. All right, so here is where we have the inbound outbound portion of our business. When we first started, we used to have it all come in and out of that front room up there. But now that we have so many units coming in and out on a weekly, daily basis, uh, really we have to utilize the bay door. So pallets in, pallets out, small par parcel in, and then palletize out. So this is today's inbound here. So basically a little insight of to what our process looks like. It gets dropped off, in this case, small parcel of pallets sorted back there, but it all gets dropped off here. And then we have three different avenues of where the inventory would go in next steps, because we don't only just have my Amazon account and we aren't only a distribution company, uh, but we also have clients that we help you prep for or run accounts for. So let's say we pick up one of these packages here. We then need to figure out where it's gonna go in this inbound sorting area. So. For example, this pallet right here is a pallet of wholesale inventory. So this is something right here that you could have found on lvdistribution.com, ordered for yourself and sold on Amazon for a profit. We did all of the research. We found this product from the suppliers. It's not private label. It's an actual name brand company that sells well on Amazon already. And we then receive and label and ship out this inventory for our customers. That's what we do over there on that website. This section right here is one of our done for you kind of managed account clients that we offer. Um, you know, we keep it super limited just because we do have our own account and we put most of our focus to that or the distribution company. But from time to time, we do accept and take on new clients. Spoiler alert, we're taking on a new client right now. So if you think you're qualified, you're interested in Amazon, you have to have probably 50 to $75,000 of investable capital or whatever it is, ability to get the credit card or loan. But if you want an Amazon account done for you, then, well, you could have a pallet and we can run it for you. So this is then the pallet for inventory that goes onto our account. So once the inventory is sorted, wherever it is supposed to go, uh, our next step over here comes to the check-in computer. So everything we do, whether you're a distribution client, uh, a done-for-you client, or on my own personal account, is done using Inventory Lab. That's all done here on the computer. We use barcode scanners, scan everything in. F and SKU labels get printed here. Then we come over here where all of the inventory gets labeled to then be sorted on a shelf. 
Real quick, I'm sure you'll appreciate this. This is a great example of a customer return where a board game was taped like that and shipped to us. Gotta love Amazon employees. So here we have all of our packaging material. We use all of this. We try to reuse as much as possible. Um, fun fact, we don't even have a dumpster. So we operate this business to the scale that we have without actually paying $70, $80 a month, whatever it is for a dumpster. I don't know, cutting corners cheap, whatever it is, but I'll show you a little bit about how we do it. But part of it is by reusing packing material. Coming over here, this shelf right here is for all of our fulfilled by merchant. This top section here is just for some like stragglers, like Mercari, eBay type stuff. But for the most part, we are an FBA uh, Amazon seller, but some of the stuff is restricted. Can't go to FBA, whether it's hazmat or meltable or expiration date glitches on listings where they say things are expired, but they're really not. Um, I've been dealing with that a lot recently with grocery items. So this shelf right here is where we will then, after it gets scanned in, F and SKU labeled, it's for standard size. So we do a decent amount of oversized and standard size, but all of the standard size inventory comes on to this shelf. And then moving along, all of the oversized inventory comes onto this shelf. Most of these are in and out within a few days. Things don't sit here long because we're using Amazon's warehouses. We've got tens of thousands of units at Amazon right now. There's no need to have stuff sitting around here. This shelf over here, some of these products right now are for sale on our distribution company's website. Uh, it's lvdistribution.com in case you forgot. Uh, some of this stuff is going to go to eBay, it needs to get listed. We throw customer returns down here. Most of this is trash. Uh, for example, we have no idea if this is broken or what it is. It'll probably get thrown away. Um, and again, just more inventory that's currently live for sale right now on the website. Here's all of this Target furniture that I mentioned. Uh, there's actually more up front, but you can't see it. It's kind of hidden behind pallets and stuff. But if you know anyone in the Maryland area looking for sofas or chairs, we've got a lot of it. So contact us. Um, moving over here, you can see that we have our gym. So when I first decided that I was going to lease a commercial space, um, I was super stubborn about the fact of having to get a gym. It was with all the lockdown stuff and I just wasn't going to wear a mask to work out. So I built my own gym because that's what financial freedom allows you to do. So every day after we're finished working, uh, I am here working out uh, religiously. Here are where we put all of our boxes. So you can see, kind of have them classified. These are the larger ones. We kind of call these moving boxes, right? Um, a lot of these boxes are too big to use for Amazon. Some aren't like this one could be, but. Uh, if you're an Amazon seller, you probably know that you can't have a box with a length over 25 inches. So we put them all here and we've got smaller boxes. But again, part of how we don't have to pay for trash removal is we will list these on Facebook Marketplace. So we actually, people pay us for our trash. This stack right here of boxes, someone will pay probably $25 or so. They'll come, they'll pick it up from us. And then these smaller ones back here, you know, your typical like customer return or case pack items, uh, these will just list for free and they sell all day long, usually within a few hours of posting them. Someone just comes, picks it up. I don't know what they do with it, but they are always picking them up from us. So we've not had to get a trash removal contract and we've been here for almost a year. So go ahead, try it out, get paid for your trash. Nothing cooler than that really. Um, moving over from the gym, we've got the little kitchenette. This place was already built out when I moved in, so there was already a bathroom built in. There was already the sink and the plumbing there for all of that. All we had to do was bring in this little table, the microwave, and the chair that's never been used. Um, this was actually the table that I used and started my business off of. So the first guy into Amazon in the end of 2018, beginning of 2019, I built the entire business out of my apartment up until around $500,000 in sales. 
Um, that's when we then knew that we had to move in here because we just couldn't move in the apartment anymore. But all of the early business was done on this table right there. And now we use it as a lunch table and it's also never been used. So that is really it for this warehouse tour. We're currently doing just under seven figures a year on Amazon and our distribution company out of this space right here. If you're interested in learning more about working with us, contact us, lvdistribution.com, and thanks for watching.